All right, what's up you guys? So I'm gonna make a video on what happened four days ago. It was the first fixed game in Rocket League. That's right, professionals actually threw a game, but it happened to be in the uh, Oceania region. So you may not have heard about this, but if you've ever been on Twitter with Rocket League, you probably have then. But um, I'm gonna dive into some of the details on what happened and how does this make the game look and some of the reactions from the players too. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, so the first thing I wanna look at this is the replay week seven last thing of the uh, lead play for Oceana so team Esper is the team that is throwing here 2-2 two -two in the series now I'll give you some context real quick if Fury wins this season I'm sure they secure a spot in the playoffs after the lead play so if you look at this um, we see Fury right here and Renegades is actually relying on this team Esper to win because if Team Esper wins, then Renegades gets to proceed in the playoffs. So, yeah, I mean, Renegades shouldn't be in this position regardless. So, let's let's go back and take a look at this. So, first kickoff, you can already see. <laughs> yeah, you just see Delusion just drive right past it. And you hear the announcers already. They're saying they're just going to give the win to Fury. Twitch chat's reacting. They're pissed. And they only issued bans to Delusion. And frenzy. They did not ban Steve. So there you see it. It keeps on going. But we're going to see a really hard throw here in a second. So I'll just keep playing it. We'll keep watching. Let's go along with the assumption that Esper is playing the best they can here as we continue the series. Fury. It's a little hard. We're going to have to. We're going to have to. And so, as you can see, they're passing it back. I mean, okay, okay. All right. I don't think we can assume anymore. Uh, Alright, so that was the touch that went in, and if you play Rocket League at all, you should know a touch like that should never result in a score. But, um, yeah, someone on Team Esper just on gold. I mean, it was super intentional. Pretty obvious at this point. So, a lot of people mad. And I think this game ends up being 6-3 in Fury's favor, of course. But, yeah. Pretty sad for Renegades, and it just looks bad for RL in general. So, yeah. As you can see, this is the final score. Everyone chat is being pretty mad. I feel like these guys are going to keep the ball up in the air for quite a while, so let's uh, maybe put a maximum time on it. But uh, no, there it goes. Fury let it drop to the ground. Fury get the reverse sweep, and Fury make the final spot in the playoffs uh, with a very, very hard earned victory here at the very end of the league. All right. But so there you go. There you have that. I guess that was Fury's last spot for the playoffs, and it was either them or Renegades, and that's what happened right there. So let's take a look at some of the reactions. So, I had this commie RL pulled up, and I was looking at his page, and he was absolutely pissed. Don't blame him. Let's take a look at some of these comments. Immature region, heartbreaking. Looks like they lost on purpose. So, yeah. And you see here, clean 3-0. Now you play to the Rocket League gods. GG's avert, GG's. And... They played that on the same day as we just saw on stream.
So they were relying on Fury to get the win. I'm looking at Liquipedia RL. It says Frenzy and Delusion of the former Team Esper roster has been banned from all psionics led competitions, which includes the RLCS for a year. So next time they can play is April 8th, 2021, which is a pretty long time, but you can see a lot of people are happy about this. And I agree. I think that's acceptable. I don't know. A year might be a little too long. It's um, it's your opinion. Now let's take a look at what the people were saying on Team Esper. So Delusion, as we saw in the video, said, quote, very unprofessional of Psionics to be influenced by the Steve's outbursts in the media and not give me and Frenzy a fair trial. Disappointed about the immaturity of all the pros and fans who have attacked us without knowing our side. Absolutely crushed. See in 2021 rats. So, <laughs> Turbo Pulsa, not even I fuck up that much. No words can possibly save your ass. It's pretty damn funny. Um, yeah, everyone dislikes them. I mean, same thing. So, yeah. All the oh, yeah, Pulse OSM. What is he on your side? How does not going for kickoffs, own going, and overall basically playing for the other team even closely resemble playing to the best of your ability at all times during any match? Take some time to think about this. It doesn't make any sense. So, also agree with that. I mean, this is just kind of sad. So, yeah, looking at uh, the Oceana standings, Ground Zero, Mind Freak, Fury. And then I'm sure Cringe Society was in it. And then the cutoff is right here. Renegade just barely missed it. They relied on that. Team Esper versus Fury Series, which of course resulted in a throw, causing Renegades not to make it. Let's look at the rules real quick. Each player is expected to play to the best of her or his ability at all times during any match. Any form of unfair play is prohibited by these rules and may result in disciplinary action. Examples of unfair play include the following, collusion, and then... You know, match fixing, bribing referee, or match official, which didn't happen. It was just straight up. They just threw. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hopefully, I can get more. Hopefully, I can stop, start making more content. Um, if you want to see any more videos like this one, let me know. Comment in the comment section what you think about the whole situation. I just think it's pretty funny. It's kind of sad, but it's pretty funny at the same time. So, yeah. That's it for this one. I'll see you soon. Peace.